Jam 2016 Biology Question 11. The movement of blood between the heart and all other parts of the body besides the lung is known as Option A. Systemic Circulation Option B. Closed Circulatory System Option C. Pulmonary Circulation Option D. Single Circulation System The correct answer here is Systemic Circulation Systemic circulation is the part of the cardiovascular system which carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the body and returns deoxygenated blood, that is blood without oxygen, back to the heart. This deoxygenated blood is now transferred to the lungs for oxygenation in what we know as pulmonary circulation. So. The movement of blood between the heart and all other parts of the body besides the lung, it's systemic circulation, which is option A. Jam 2016 Biology Question 12. If the cross of a red flowered plant with a white flowered plant produces a pink flowered plant, this is an example of option A, co-dominance, option B, incomplete dominance, option C, mutation option d linkage from our question here we have a red flowered plant we also have a white flowered plant and finally we have a pink flowered plant red flowered plant was crossed with white flowered plants rather than seeing either of them being dominant over the other we find out that we have a third phenotype which is a pink flowered plant this is a classic example of incomplete dominance. That means our correct answer is option B. Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely expressed over its paired allele. And for our question here, we have two alleles, the red allele and the white allele. This results in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is a combination of the phenotypes of both allele. And in this case, we have a pink flowered plant. Unlike complete dominance, one allele does not dominate or mask the other. And also in co-dominance, we will have a situation where both colors are expressed on the same flower. So our correct answer here is option B. Jam 2016 Biology Question 13. The largest amount of yolk is found in the egg of Option A, amphibians. Option B, Pisces. Option C, reptiles. Option D, avis. To answer this question, we will have to look at evolutionary trends and the organization of life. From our theory of evolution, we are taught that life began in water. Therefore, we will have as Pisces, which include fishes and all aquatic animals, which were then followed by the amphibians, which are animals that partly live on land and partly in water, followed by the reptiles, which live mainly on land but have some aspect of their life related to water. Finally, we have the avises, which includes all the birds. This evolutionary trend ends with mammals, but in this case, let's we'll be ending it here at the avis. Now, following this evolutionary trend, we find out that the avis are the highest on the organization of life and the size of the egg increases as the level in the organization of life increases therefore our correct answer will be option d alvis jam 2016 biology question 14 fibrinogen and protrombin play important roles in the option a deamination of proteins option b clotting of blood Option C, detoxification of substances. Option D, storage of vitamins. Fibrinogen and protrombin are what we call clotting factors and they function in the clotting of blood. Blood must clot to heal wounds and prevent excess blood loss. Small cell fragments called platelets are attracted to the wound sites where they adhere by extending many projections and releasing their contents. These contents activate other platelets 
and also interact with other coagulation factors, which converts fibrinogen, a water-soluble protein present in blood serum, into fibrin, a non-water-soluble protein, causing the blood to clot. Many of the clotting factors require vitamin K to work, and vitamin K de deficiency can lead to problems with blood clotting. Many platelets converge and stick together at the wound site, forming a platelet plug, also called a fibrin, a fibrin clot. The plug or clot acts to stop the blood loss. Therefore, our correct answer is option B, clotting of blood. JAM 2016 Biology Question 15 The pathogen that causes small pus is Option A. Picona virus Option B. Paramezo virus Option C. Herpes virus Option D. Pus virus The correct answer here is Option D. Pus virus Small pus is a disease caused by a pus virus that is transmitted from person to person and causes high fever and characteristic rash. It may kill about one third of those infected. Small pulse, also called variola, is the only disease that has been completely wiped out throughout the world. So, the correct answer here is pulse virus. Jam 2016 Biology Question 16 The vector for the malaria parasite it's a dash. Option A, female Aedes mosquito. Option B, female Anopheles mosquito. Option C, female Cules mosquito. Option D, male Anopheles mosquito. The answer isn't female Aedes mosquito because the Aedes mosquito acts as vector for yellow fever. The answer is not also female Cules mosquito because the the coolest mosquito is a genus of mosquitoes, several species of which serves as vectors of one or more important diseases of birds and other animals. The diseases vector include arbovirus infections such as Wells Nile virus, Japanese encephalitis or St. Louis encephalitis. They also cause filariasis and avian malaria. The answer is not also male Anopheles mosquitoes because male Anopheles mosquitoes live just about one week in the wild as well as in laboratory conditions. Unlike females, males do not feed on mammalian blood. They use the proboscis or feeding tube to drink nectar from flowers. Our correct answer therefore is option B, female Anopheles mosquito. Malaria is caused by plasmodium parasites. These parasites are spread to people through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. JAM 2016 Biology Question 17 Which of the following pairs are social insects? Option A. Termite and locust Option B. Ants and wasps Option C. Cockroach and bee Option D. Termite and bee to answer this question, let's take a look at what social insects are. Social insects are any of numerous species of insects that live in colonies and manifest three characteristics, which are group integration, division of labor, and overlap of generations. Social insects are best exemplified by all ants and termites and some bees and wasps. Now, let's take a look at our options and figure out the correct answer. Now we are left with uh, option B and option D. Option B says ants and wasps and option D says termite and B. The correct answer here is option D. Reason being that all termites and bees are social insects. But in option B, all ants are social insects but not all wasps are social insects. So option D is our correct answer. JAM 2016 Biology Question 18 Which of the following is not a method of conserving wildlife? Option A. Indiscriminate poaching Option B. Establishment of zoological gardens Option C. Enacting wildlife conservation laws Option D. Establishment of game reserve 
Our correct answer is indiscriminate poaching. Wildlife poaching has negative side effects that affect local communities, wildlife populations, and the environment at large. Poaching have already put many animal species to extinction. The resultant destruction of the natural habitats of these animals adds to the miseries of animals forced to leave their dens for unsafe living. This displacement is often accompanied by scarcity of food and enhanced danger of being hunted. These displaced animals are oftentimes exposed to many new dangers posed by man and other predators. So indiscriminate poaching is not a method of conserving wildlife. JAM 2016 Biology Question 19 The importance of the mouth brooding behavior in tilapia is that it Option A Helps in keeping the young fish warm Option B Affords protection from predation for the young fish Option C Provides regurgitated nourishment to the young fish Option D Helps the fish to live in a social group the correct answer here is option B, affords protection from predation for the young fish. Mouth brooding, also known as oral incubation, is the care given by some group of animals to their offsprings by holding them in the mouth of the parents for extended periods of time. Although mouth brooding is performed by a variety of different animals, fishes are by far the most diverse mouth brooders. Mouth brooding has evolved independently in several families of fishes. In all cases, the eggs are protected until they hatch and the fry become free swimming. Only in some cases does the parent extend protection to mobile juveniles. Among the chilies and arowanas, by caring for their offspring in this way, mouse brooding fish are able to produce smaller numbers of offsprings with a higher chance of survival than species that offer no brood care. JAM 2016 Biology Question 20 The type of asexual reproduction that is common to both paramecium and protis is Option A. Fragmentation Option B. Boarding Option C. Sporulation Option D. Fission The protises reproduce both sexually and asexually. They produce sexually by conjugation and asexually by binary fission, multiple fission, boarding, and sporulation. Looking at our options, option A is wrong because the protists do not reproduce by fragmentation. So now we are left with boarding, sporulation, and fission, which are all ways by which the protists reproduce. Now our question is asking us to look for the common mode of reproduction between the protists and paramecium. Paramecium reproduces sexually by conjugation and asexually by binary fission. So the common form of reproduction between paramecium and the protists is option D, fission.